Let's write the structural formula for ethene. This is also called ethylene. Both of these are IUPAC names, although ethene, that's the preferred IUPAC name. That's the one we'll use in this video. The molecular formula for ethene, that's C2H4, but that really doesn't tell you how they're bonded together. For that, we need the structural formula. So if we look at both of these names, they end in E-N-E. -E. When you see that ending in E-N-E, -E, you know you have an alkene, and there's going to be a double bond. So we know that we'll have a double bond. We also know when we see F, F is going to be 2. So we're going to have two carbons, and there's going to be a double bond. So let's put two carbons up. And we said because of this E-N-E, -E, we have a double bond. There's really only one place we can put a double bond. That's right here between the carbons. So we have our double bond. And each carbon, it's going to be bonded to four things. So we have one, two. So we'll put hydrogens here. This is a hydrocarbon, three, four. And over here, one, two, three, four. So this is the structure for ethene, also called ethylene. And we would have hydrogens here on each one of these bonds, although we often don't show that. If you wanted to look at a molecular model for ethene here, that would look like this. The blacks, the carbon, and then the whites are the hydrogen. So you can see the double bond there, and you can see the hydrogens now. We could even write this out here with the hydrogens drawn in. So this is the structural formula for ethene, the molecular formula, C2H4. Note that ethene is the simplest form of the alkenes. We have two carbons and we have a double bond between it. We can't get any simpler. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for ethene, also called ethylene. Thanks for watching.